What you're about to witness is an abomination. The culmination of a diabolical experiment begun in the 1960s, the intention of which was to destroy the sound of the electric guitar. A vast conspiracy involving scientists and engineers from around the world, and it's ongoing to this day. If you choose to watch further, be forewarned. John Snyder is about to take you on a journey through the legends of fuzz. Hey everybody, it's John, AKA Smelly Telly, coming to you from Evansville, Indiana, and more music and more guitars.com. And today I'm gonna have a kind of a fun little video. Um, we're gonna take a look at some fuzz pedals, in fact, four fuzz pedals. Now, a little bit of backstory about these. This is the JHS Legends of Fuzz series that came out in May of 2020. Uh, this video is being shot in January of 2021. As soon as these were released, I knew that I wanted to do a video comparing the four of them. But just like most people, I was on quarantine in Indiana. We were all basically on lockdown. And so there was no way to be able to come in and do it. And then we were on lockdown for a long time. And then when we went back, the kids didn't go back to school. They were doing virtual school. So I was at home trying to be a teacher. You should feel bad for my kids. Um, we made it through, everybody's alive. So finally, after all these months, um, I said, let's do a tone comparison. Now, because these have been out for a while, there are already videos and a lot of information about the text of these, so I'm gonna kinda just gloss over them. We're not gonna go too deep with it. But basically what they are is Josh Scott and the people at JHS wanted to create a series of fuzz pedals that are based on specific uh, fuzz circuits, vintage fuzz circuits that uh, he loves and generally most people love. So, and there's supposed to be more. These are the first four. There's supposed to be more that come out in time. I don't know if any of those people will see this, but if they would please maybe consider doing a boss tone one, that would be pretty fantastic. Uh, we'll talk just very briefly about them. The smiley is basically, um, it's a fuzz face for the most part. And I'm just gonna give them just generic terms. There are, there are actually specific pedals like absolutely like a pedal that he owns that he copied, that he tried to kind of recreate with these. But the Smiley is a fuzz face. The Supreme is a super fuzz, which is a fuzz pedal that I know the least about, least amount. The Fender, or sorry, the Bender, sorry, the Bender is basically, it's a, um, it's, it's a tone bender circuit, you know. Um, of course, it says London, but Fuzz face also kind of was London too, but the bender is a um, tone bender circuit, and then the crimson, we'll just call it a big muff. So, uh, but again, all of these are actually based on pedals that he owns and was very specifically trying to copy. I'm gonna avoid some of the things like silicon versus germanium. Um, none of these have germanium in them, they're all silicon, and there are people that will go back and forth about the two of those things, we're not gonna do that. Also, all the pedals come with a mod. So he put a little button that kind of mods each one his own little twist on it. For the most part, what they do is they add more mids and they add more volume. We're not gonna play with those today. We're just gonna go over the general different tone characteristics, similarities and differences. The only one that we will play with the button on is the Supreme because it has two buttons. One of them is actually a mode that is on the original Super Fuzz, so we wanna check that out. And I think we're good on all of that. They can be run on um, power supply, like a typical power supply or batteries, which I appreciate because with certain vintage fuzz circuits, there is a community of guitar players that kind of think that it sounds better with nine volt batteries. So it's cool that you can do it. And then even below that, there's a level of nerdery where people, there are guitar players that say, it can't just be nine volt, they need to be carbon zinc nine volt. And again, that's, I, I've tried it, I hear the difference. I wouldn't have known the difference if I would have never tried it. So if you don't wanna go down that road, that rabbit hole like I did, just use the power supply. But I do, I notice a difference. It sounds a little bit more round. So take that for whatever you want. All right, 
We're going to go in chronological order as according to the pedals. The, the smiley fuzz face and the bender, tone bender, they actually came out relatively the same time frame in the 60s, but this is actually based on a later, this is a Mark III, I think. So, um, and all of these have had so many different, you know, versions that have come out. So we're gonna go with what we have date-wise on here. So the Smiley, this is probably the fuzz that most people would relate to or think of because it's based on the fuzz face, which of course was a big pedal for Jimi Hendrix. You probably heard of him. He was a pretty good guitar player. What we're going to do is we're going to play around with some single coils and we're also going to use um, some humbuckers. We're going to go into a fairly clean amp. It's, uh, it's clean the way I like it. It's not crystal. It's just got a little bit of that warmth to it. So, um, And we're just going to go through them. We're going to compare how they sound and um, I'll probably make some comments on what I'm hearing and where I kind of think where most people, if you've never been into fuzz before, if you're thinking about you're getting your first one, which one I might recommend and which one I might tell you to stay away from. So let's get a little bit of sound. So this is uh, the Strat plugged into that amp. This is the sound of the guitar not being played. And this is the sound of the guitar being played. Using a vintage pick, not really. Okay. Let's get into the smiley. Very thick and noisy. This is fuzz right here. <laughs> There's no escape in it. If you don't like that sound, don't get a fuzz pedal. That's all I can tell you. <laughs> kind of comes with the territory. So this does kind of run along with mo what most of us think of as fuzz faces. They do get pretty woolly. I'm going to show you a little thing, though, about fuzz faces and this, this smiley, just so we understand. The smiley, we kick it on. When you roll the volume back, it cleans up. This one isn't getting super clean. If we come down here to the bridge pickup, though. So you can kind of use your volume control to kind of set the overall fuzziness of it. Sounds like I've knocked this poor Strat a little out of tune. Okay, that's a smiley. We're gonna, I'm just gonna touch on each one and then we're literally gonna run through them. We're just gonna go one after another. So this is the Supreme. And like I said, this is the one I know the least about. Um, I don't think I've ever even seen a Vox. Um, so this, sorry, this is based off of the Super Fuzz. I don't, I, I don't ever recall ever seeing a Super Fuzz. I know I've never plugged into one. But um, I think that it's a pretty good name for it because it's like fuzz on top of fuzz. This is like super, super fuzzy. That one rolls up pretty, or sorry, that one rolls down pretty good too. Not quite as clean. Now, like I said, there's got these little buttons on here. What we're gonna, this one has two. This is the only one that's got two because the 
Superfuzz originally did have a mode on it where you press the, the button and it cuts out the mid, so we're gonna do that. This is with the button unengaged. It's pretty stark difference. If I had this pedal, which I might, <laughs> I might have to, that button would be pushed in the whole time. I think that sounds really cool. The only thing is, <clears throat> I would say it's the kind of pedal that demands your attention, uh, which could get you kicked out of gigs or kicked out of your band, depending on you know the people you surround yourself with. All right, moving on to the Bender. This one I actually do own. I not the specific one, but I do have. Uh, when these came out, I had been looking for a bender circuit for a while so i picked one up and i love it i think it sounds great we'll go through that this is also again i kind of mentioned earlier the tone bender you know fuzzes they had their lineage goes back pretty much almost as far as the fuzz face um, i always thought of tone benders and this is from just internet reading stuff on the internet i always thought of them as kind of being uh, a little bit more forgiving type of fuzz. It's also, some people say it sounds, it sounds better with uh, humbuckers, you know, like the fuzz face. In this case, the smiley might go better with single coils and then the bender might go better with humbuckers. I have not found that to be the case. I've found that it's, you know, you can use whatever you guitar. Sometimes you just have to kind of fiddle with the, the volume and the tone and all that. So let's take a listen to the bender. You can hear, I mean, we're going to go through all of them here in a little bit, but you can hear that the fuzz isn't quite as intense, especially compared to the, the Supreme. The Supreme is like Supreme. It's got a Supreme amount of fuzz in it. All right, finally, the Crimson. So the Crimson is it's a big muff. There are people that cannot live without their big muff. I, it's never been my thing. I love to hear other people play them, though, if that makes any sense. But... Um, so I couldn't be able to make a comment on if this is a stellar sounding big, big muff or, or not. So if you're into them, you'll get to hear it. And if you've never heard one before, this is going to sound, I'm guessing, like a big muff. All right, let's kick it on. Okay, Ugh. now let's just run through them. So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay on the neck pickup. You'll notice I'm staying on the neck pickup because it's a Strat. I don't know why there are two other pickups. It's a Strat. This is all you need, right? <laughs> no hate on that, please. I'm just kidding. Okay, one through one right after another. Here we go. Smiley. Supreme, without the, with the mids engaged though. Mids taken out. Bender. Now one needs a little bit more volume. And then finally the crimson. Once more quickly. I 
like that one. Cool. Okay, let's switch guitars. We're gonna grab some humbuckers so you can kind of hear the differences. Um, yeah, if I haven't, if you haven't caught on, I'm really digging this Supreme. I don't know why, it's not my style at all, but I'm really liking it, so. All right, Larry's gonna shut off the camera and I'm gonna pull this cable out and probably fix my hair. We've switched guitars. This is an, an Epiphone uh, Les Paul Modern. I said it right. All right. Uh, in coffee, coffee latte finish, which does look delicious. This is, if this was a piece of hard candy, I guarantee I would eat way too many of them. So we're going to try these out with a bridge humbucker because, you know, so on a Strat, why have anything but the neck pickup on a Les Paul, why have anything? So for the bridge pickup, I know people are hating on me right now. It's just kind of how I am. Okay, so this is the sound of the guitar not being played. This is the sound of the guitar clean. And just to kind of throw this out there, there are certain fuzz circuits that some people say are better suited for single coils and some that are better suited for humbuckers. A lot of times the smiley, the fuzz face, they'll say, goes better with a single coil and the, the tone bender, the, the bender, sounds better with humbuckers. I think it's just that that's, they associate these pedals with certain players and so they kind of get it in mind that that's how it's supposed to be. Um, it's honestly, if you have a great sounding guitar and amp and you know, at least hopefully a little bit better technique than I do, they're gonna sound the way you want them to sound no matter what you've got plugged into it. So let's go with the Smiley. It's, it's very wooly with the humbucker. We'll try a roll off. See, I think that sounds great. When I've got my Les Paul, which is a very nice Les Paul, by the way, that I bought from here, plugged into my fuzz face style, that's pretty much how I run it. No, not that low. I never, me personally, I never run a humbucker full into my fuzz face style pedal. It's always, I'm always playing with the volume. And actually, if you run the neck pickup like that, that can sound pretty nice as well. talk a lot about the smiley and the fuzz face. I guess you can probably guess which fuzz I use the most. Okay, moving on now to the Supreme. My favorite, not everybody in this room's favorite, I will say without mentioning any name. I think it sounds awesome. This is one of those pedals that would really, really help cover mistakes. So if you're kind of one of those players, this might be a good one for you. Bender. Not gonna do it. Not gonna do it. So yeah, the Bender circuit, by the way, legend has it that there's a certain dude from, you know, kind of the whole British scene in the late 60s, early 70s that supposedly used a bender. Won't say who. And moving on to the Big Muff, the Crimson. <laughs> So 
I'm going to run through them all quickly again and then maybe say just a few more little things and kind of give my thoughts on who each of these might be good for, especially if it's like your first fuzz pedal. Quickly through the smiley. The Supreme. The Bender. And the Crimson. Okay, my thoughts. So I think these all sound awesome. If you're new to Fuzz and you're thinking they don't really sound all that much different, you're probably not going to be alone. It's kind of how I always used to hear Fuzz too, is, you know, especially just running a straight, you know, guitar straight into Fuzz, into an amp. They're going to be a little bit harsh for some people. It's going to be kind of brash sounding. Typically what I do is I run mine into an overdrive pedal. So, and again, Basically, on my board, I've got something like a smiley and literally this, you know, the tone or the uh, JHS bender. Both of those I run into an overdrive pedal, like a tube scream or something like that, that really does kind of soften the edges. Uh, I think that um, if you're new to fuzz, that might be a good place to start. Um, as far as like recommending things, kind of depends on your musical style. If you really want everyone to know you're there, Obviously, the Supreme. This is the one that has given me the most joy today. I really get a kick out of it. It doesn't match me or the way I play at all, but I just love it. I really, really, really want one. Um, if you're kind of like maybe the fuzz is too fuzzy or too maybe aggressive, I'd say probably the Bender is your safest bet. Um, I think it's the least offensive out of you know the four of these. If you are like me and you like playing around with the tone control, or sorry, the volume controls, you're always kind of riding things and you, you like stacking things and stacking sounds, the Smiley is probably a great way to go. Um, I mean, you know, this is, a, it's, it's a classic, you know. I mean, I, I think probably there'd be a lot of people that, says, that would say, you don't have a fuzz face style fuzz, you gotta get one, um, which is, I, I would never say that. And then, for the Big Muff people, you know who you are and you already have one, so I don't have to recommend it. You already, you already have one, so. Okay, I think that's it. I think you have kind of general sense now of what each of these pedals sounds like. The only thing left to do now, and I don't know if Larry knew I was gonna do this or not, we gotta turn them all on, like all of them at the same time. So everybody cover your whatevers. Oh, listen. Oh yeah. Somewhere out there right now, young Alan Clark is watching this video and he is absolutely ordering all four of those so he can turn them all on at the same time. Okay, if you're interested in any of these pedals or any of the other gear that you've seen me play, uh, you can call down here at More Music and talk to any one of our sales associates. Today's sales associate of the day is Corey, just because he's my special little friend, you know, and he's one of my favorite people to spoon with. And if you want to get online, of course, it is moreguitars.com. And my name is John, AKA Smelly, and this has been a lot of fun. And I kind of want to just set it all up and do it all over again. So I will see you the next time. <laughs>